tent trailers allow you to travel without reservations. Who needs a hotel if you can park the pop-up? Besides, you don't get fresh air and campfires at a hotel. Tent trailers have been around since the early part of the 20th century, and you could describe them as an overnight success. A tent trailer comes with all the modern conveniences, and that should make you a happy camper. To make one, they weld tubular steel components together. This establishes a solid framework for the tent trailer. Once it's painted, plumbed, and partially wired, they add wheels, bolting them into place. The water storage tank goes in next. Then they string aircraft-grade steel cables from corner posts to a central bar. This bar is called a whiffle tree. Cranking up the whiffle tree will cause the cables to lift the corner posts, raising the trailer's roof. They wheel the trailer to the next station, where they lower the vinyl-covered wooden floor onto the chassis and secure it with screws. Then they connect a cluster of wires to the wires already installed on the chassis to run things like kitchen appliances and stereos. They rivet the interior front wall to steel bulkheads and the trailer chassis. Then they thread wiring through the bulkheads to the trailer's side lights and then install the exterior panel. They slide the roadside panel over the lift posts and secure it. The curbside exterior panels come in two pieces to create a space for the trailer door. Corner molding completes this assembly. They move inside and install the framework for bench seating. They install the lower cabinetry for the kitchenette and then join it to the upper cabinet with a long metal hinge for easy pivoting. They insert the mini fridge in the lower cabinetry and this folding kitchenette is done like dinner. This is the pull-out platform for one of the mattresses. They slide it into channels in the exterior walls. But there's a lot more work to do before anyone can take a nap. They stitch together pieces of water-resistant fabric to make the tent for the trailer. They sew five sections separately, then zip them together at an inspection station. Inspectors scrutinize every seam for flaws. None will be tolerated. Once the tent passes inspection, they fit it on the trailer one section at a time. Then the trailer is ready for the roof. To build the roof, they sandwich many materials together, and that takes a lot of industrial adhesive. They roll it onto these plywood slats. And these foam insulation boards also get a generous coating. They place the glued foam onto the roof's fiberglass outer skin. They position the wooden slats along the perimeter and add bands of metal for more reinforcement. The final layers are vinyl-coated plywood. It will be the ceiling of the trailer. A large roller compresses the glued layers together. After grooves and notches have been cut into the roof, they wire it and install 12-volt interior lights in the ceiling. They add trim to the roof's edges, along with a gasket to keep it watertight. They fold the roof's flaps in a tray-like configuration and cap the corners. They're now ready to raise the roof and install the tent. They insert it into grooves in the trailer ceiling using a pneumatic hammer. This tent trailer is now ready to pop up anywhere. It can accommodate a small family and is equipped to feed them outdoors or inside. It even comes with a screen door, because who knows when adventure will come knocking. <laughs>